When, when you look at verse 13, notice the first one we said. It says simply this, watch ye. That's imperative number one. Stand fast in the faith. That's the second imperative. Quit you like men. That's the third one. Be strong. That's the fourth imperative. Now, imperatives uh, are not recommendations, but they are rather commands that ought to be obeyed. Now, the angle in which I'm trying to deal or present this matter of manning up or quit you like men or act like men, how do you get to that place where uh, you demonstrate not just bravery and courage, but, re but also maturity. I said that that phrase, quit you like men, is a call for courage, is a call uh, that beckons for uh, bravery of men. But more than that, it is a call to be mature. Mature men are those who man up Y'all got quiet to responsibilities. Have I got a witness? But how do you get there? It's in the first exhortation where Paul says, watch ye. Now, I won't spend a whole lot of time here, but I just want to uh, review what we said. Now, when you see there, watch ye, it's really a call for men in general, in, uh, specifically, and Christians in, uh, uh, in for, for Christians generally and men specifically to always be alert. You see, if you're not aware, it's hard to mature. If your head is stuck in the sand and you're not giving attention to what's going on around you, it's hard to respond to this challenge, to this command, to this exhortation to man up. So in verse 13, the first command, the first imperative is that of a call to be alert. Have I got a witness? It is not just a call not to go to sleep. But it's a call to be aware of what's going on around us. My brothers, are we really aware of what's going on around us? Are you not? And I'm not, this is not no um, pro-black message. I'm just simply talking about what I'm talking about because of how we are adversely affected in society as a people of, co of color and, and particularly our men. I suggested to us that in our um, prisons across the country, now you know that, that, uh, uh, that African Americans uh, are not the majority race or ethnicity in the country. We are a minority. We represent somewhere between 12 and 13 percent of, of America's population. So we are a minority race. That's in America. But in the prison, we're the majority. Have I got a witness? And I hazard to hunch that some are there because they stopped being aware of what was going on around them. And if we're not careful, and this is where my heart is with our young men, open your eyes to what's going on around you. Open your eyes to the fact that that it's okay to be in the books. That you don't have to be the class clown to get some attention. <laughs> that there still are some young ladies who are fascinated with a young man with a book in his hand and not a gun in his hand. <laughs> because in the final analysis, the person that... The young lady uh, who looks for 
I'm, and, and this is a young lady who's, who's rap tight because they got some who ain't rap tight. You, you, you know, y'all y'all know who I'm talking about? Uh, Hoochie and her mama ain't rap tight. Hoochie mama, y'all know what I'm saying? They ain't rap tight. If you are impressed with the thug life, you ain't rap right. If what excites you is a fella who wasn't born with gold teeth, teethuses, but he's smiling because he bling bling in about the mouth. That ain't impressive. You don't want, you know, Wally the, I mean, you know, Odell the book reader. You want Kawanze. Come on, y'all. If we be honest, some of our young sisters, I know I'm talking to our men, but I need to say to y'all, stop making like the fella to be with is the thug. I, I'm just saying, I know some of us, some of y'all are of the opinion, you know, because sometimes, you know, some of y'all sisters, you know, you, you will say, well, you know, I want a fella, I don't want him weak, I want to have a little thug in him. I don't want him to be full-fledged thug, but just a little thug. But let me say this, a little leaven, Leavens the whole lump. A little thug. <laughs> now what you want is not a thug, but a strong man who finds his identity not in finish sense, but in Jesus Christ. See, I know who I am. I'm not defined by little Wayne. Lil Wayne don't define who I am. I ain't got to listen to finish sense and none of them to get me pumped up to feeling a sense of self-worth. I know that my identity is in Jesus Christ. I ain't got to get motivated with hip-hop. I wish I had some help. See, you know, in the thug world, their Bible is hip hop. Come on, y'all. Gang signs, whatever they may be. <laughs> you know, you all ride in the car with partners in them at school Gang signing. Well, let me say, I know of a gang whose leader has done all the dying that needs to be done. I know of a gang that does not make you desensitized to life. Come on, y'all. I know of a gang whose leader will lay down his life for his friends. You all, you know. Come on, y'all. I sign. <laughs> Is the cross. For it was at the cross. At the cross. Where I found saw the light and the burdens of my soul they rolled away it was there by faith that I received my sight and now I'm happy that's what I'm doing that's my sign 